I just remember growing up and uh, having mom throwing R&B records all the time. I just felt the lyrics of the records, man. And, um, some of my mom's favorite artists would be like Tina Marie or Mariah Carey. These, these artists, they were like super emotional, but you felt everything they were saying. My mom, her influence was, that was my influence for music. You know, she made me sing in choirs. She made me rehearse songs over and over and over again. I could do like the littlest mistake. And she'd be like, uh-uh, uh-uh, we do this again. And she would stop it and play it again. I used to be like, oh my goodness. I just remember starting to write my own R&B songs. I, Cause I just remember like, whether it be a crush I had on a girl in school at the time, or just like family life, maybe getting a little hard just at a young age. And I just remember like how I felt associated with music and the passion I felt like. It was nothing I could explain. In third grade, um, I had a teacher named Mr. Riley, and um, every day we had like a designated journal time. So I just remember writing stories and I always get like the okay from home, like the check off, like, oh, good job, man, great job writing. So I was like, man, I, I just, at that time, I was like building my writing skills and I was like, man, this must be something I'm good at, you know, telling stories or expressing myself this way. All this time I'm singing, I decided be, I wanted to rap at 13, 14. I was terrible at it. I knew I wanted to get great at rapping. And I knew that in order to do that, I have to get past the corny phase of not knowing how to piece words together and rhyming. And so that's what I did. I worked hard at uh, making, at, at rhyming. I worked hard at writing. I worked hard at being able to say what I want to say in less words. The best part of what I do is just being able to create when it comes to just hearing the music from scratch and um, thinking of a concept, thinking of how to approach uh, music or records, I would say is absolutely the, the best part of what I do. It gets away from the business, it gets away from the logistics and how should I market this? How does this need to be? Da -da -da -da. It's, just, it's just pure, it's just fresh. I think in music, it should be free. It shouldn't be like the first hook gotta go here, the bridge gotta go here. Like, if I just wanna do a, a record with different hooks from the quote unquote standard, then that's what I wanna do. Like, I just try to get outside of the format as much as possible and just be free. I had no rap solo artist name, I had no direction of how it should be. And I remember I was sitting at the desk doodling, and the word dreamer came about. When that happened, I said, what? Okay, Dreamer, what's the purpose of Dreamer? And so time passed on, I knew I should start calling myself the Dreamer. I was like, oh, I'm the Dreamer, like, it's whatever. I'm the Dreamer, I'm just gonna run with it, run with it. And I remember God being like, man, just how I speak to you, right? Like, you're the, you are the Dreamer, like, this is who you are. Growing up, I used to um, see these visions, right? Like, I saw me, like, doing concerts and big arenas. I literally had to learn to stop doubting the visions I received when I felt like they were just too big to accomplish. I used to do that all the time. I used to see a vision and I used to be like, nah, stop playing with me. And I would try to cancel it as much as possible because I was afraid that it could possibly, possibly be true and it could actually happen for me. But now, when I get visions, I'd be like, cool, thank you. All right, cool, let's do it. I embrace it a lot more. Why? Because I know that it's possible. I know that the way God speaks to us is differently. Some people may hear audibly. Some people see it in vision. Some people have dreams. Some people have somebody else say something to them that they already been thinking about to confirm what God has already given them, right? So we have all these different ways that he can do it. For me, it just so happens to be in dreams and visions. It just happens to be that way. I'm at heart a believer. I'm at heart believe in Jesus Christ. I'm at heart believe in the cross. I'm at heart uh, believe in the sacrifice um, that he displayed and, and I know that it's real. My biggest hope is that I'm able to draw people to the cross and I'm able to draw people to know who Jesus is in a relationship and not just, and not care about the religion of it, not care about 
how we dress it up as a church and have all these rules and protocols and this has to be this way, blah, 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 blah. Stripping it down to just like, man, this is a relationship. Like, that's my biggest hope. That's my biggest dream. And I want to be able to do it in a way that he directs me. I'm sure as I continue to walk, I'll understand more of like what that looks like. And right now it's just music, you know, I offer hope through music, so.